What's up everybody guys? Welcome back to Miyamarun channel. I'm gonna talk about VJ with Touch Designer and Unreal Engine 5. Before that, let me introduce myself in brief. Miyamarun is a programmer and digital artist. I've been creating interactive experience, installation, projection mapping, virtual production as client work, and also tool for interactive contents video as a private work. I often use touch designer that I loved, Unreal Engine, sometimes Unity, and can write Python, C++, C Sharp. There are many useful tutorials in my channel, so if you are interested in it, I recommend you to explore my channel. Let's get down to main topic. I did VJ at Sazareba, which is an audio-visual event held in Tokyo. This was so exciting, and the venue also was packed. As a video artist, I performed there. What I did was like this. Why did I approach Touch Designer and the UE5 approach? There are two reasons. One is easy, flexible operation with Touch Designer. As you may know, I want to operate in real time like spawning effects, changing day to night, switching cameras. To do that, it's really convenient to build a VJUI system in Touch Designer. It's difficult and also, I can hear your voice in your mind. Stay calm. You think so because you just don't know how to make it efficiently and enjoyably. I'll show you later. Second is Unreal Engine's super beautiful lighting has real-time rendering. Unreal Engine has a real-time global illumination called Lumen. This is lit. You know, talking about lighting. It's almost impossible in Touch Designer but building flexible UI is impossible in UE5. So, taking the great part of both worlds is a breakthrough for real-time VJing. Thanks for listening to my sloppy explanation. Knowing that is really important. So, I love you guys for listening to me so far. You all want to know about the details, right? So, next I'm gonna talk about how did I create. I break it down into technical and creative. And there are some 30 sec tips at the end. Let's go to technical side. There are many things that I want to talk about, but I'm gonna pick two essentials. One is communication between touch designers and UE5. Mainly, I use three methods to do OSC, DMX, and DI. All these three words and so cool because it sounds like an American institution. Anyway, OSC is the core of the whole things. <coughs> Before sending OSC, I receive audio in touch designer and separate low, mid, high, kick, snare, resin by audio analyze palette. This audio data are sent to UE5 via OSC. And also, I have some buttons or sliders for filing effects or changing material parameters. They're also sent via OSC. And the UE5 can receive the data by OSC plugin. This is an overview of OSC receive blueprint. Created client here 
and pass in the IP address and the port. If you want to know about OSC more, it would be great to watch previous my tutorial. DMX is used for controlling moving light at the first scene. This is my favorite, so I want you to listen to it. With the assumption, U's moving lights can be controlled by DMX, just like in real world. Speaking of DMX, it is touch designer, right? It's a little prejudice. The moving light has a parameter like this. So I made a template by constant chop also sliders. So RGB is the color of the light. And next, dimmer is the brightness of the light. So uh, zero is turning off, one is turning on. Pan is the rotation of the light. Tilt is the swing of the light. Kobo is uh, like that. I don't know how to explain it. Doom, zoom is the width of the light. This time I put 8x8 eight eight moving lights. So I prepared this UI. For example, if you want to if you want this light to shine, row 5 should turn on and dimmer of column 5 should be 1. If you want to do whole column in row 5, every dimmer should be 1. If you want to add more two lines, row 5 and row 6 get to turn on. Besides, if you want to do this, shift should be 1. The show of moving light are made by this flexible DMX controlling system. I assemble a bunch of patterns and I could show different shows in real time. Last one is in a DI. It's used for sending captured viewport from UE5 to touch designer. So I highly recommend to use the plugin this that is released by our father. Satoru Higa. It's stable and easy to use. You can use it if you watch this. And I also tried Touch Engine UEFI plugin. It's kind of difficult to operate and debug. So I think these three methods are the best. I have to say that I used two laptops to distribute process. One made touches and run, another made UEFI run. To use these three, I needed to connect each other via LAN cable and I also had to set IP address to be on the same network. The overview of communication is like this. Building a stable system will result in good performance and a secure mind to deal with troubles by Mio Marun. <laughs> Technical tool is building you efficiently. As I said before, building UI is kinda hustle, but if you get techniques, it's easy and fun. The main techniques are to design the screen well before making, and to use the master operator. I designed it UI in middle. Left part is for checking communication like audio, OSC, DMX, and DI, and output. Right part is for output video and the sources including touch designer and UE5. You can change the scene by clicking on the source and the move touch designer source and UE5 source. And this morphing is my favorite. Nice transition, right? Center part is for real-time parameters like audio volume, camera switching, effect buttons. Once I use most often are placed in the middle for easy access to the controls. I added timeline slider just before live. This was super helpful for checking time and the sequence like effects. There are a bunch of services for design UI. I recommend middle and Figma. Master operator is a super super great feature for building UI efficiently. Actually it's okay to remember the name of master operator. Why am I pushing so hard? It is used in my UI mostly. Buttons, texts, 
outsiders. What is a good point? It is that you can clone anywhere and you can speed up to build the UI system. I'm gonna explain exactly how to use it. I make master UI based. Let's say the set of strings and the number in various places. If I add it, if I add the name in master operator, you can clone here and here and here. You can have to bring up a widget, create text, changing font every time, you will surely lose motivation. So I make a master and use it all the time. That way the design is cohesive and cool.